Since climate change was recognised as a problem in the late 1980s, the major focus has been on mitigation and not adaptation. But with climate change now inevitable, the focus is shifting towards adaptation. When the water changes, it affects us so much. And when it rains, start rain of hailstones, we'll finish even three months without picking. The money comes down because of the weather. The United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, has recognized that businesses in the developing world cannot wait. With funding from the government of Japan, it's set up a project called Low Carbon and Climate Resilient Industrial Development in Africa. Working with a network of local national cleaner production centers, the project is focused on improving manufacturing processes among food processing industries in Kenya, Egypt, Senegal and South Africa to make them climate resilient. All the countries have economies vulnerable to climate change. Adaptation means that we need to take into account the impact of climate change on availability of resources, prices of water, energy, and SMEs should be innovative and they should prepare themselves to take corrective measures, to change sometimes the products and to adapt to the impact of climate change. UNIDO is encouraging businesses in all four countries to make efficient use of resources because climate change may lead to a decrease in supply from farmers. Relying on the sun causes inconsistency in quality. In Senegal, UNIDO is encouraging this cereal processor to install reliable dryers that use renewable energy. The pays has an economy based especially on agriculture. Euh, sur la pêche et donc les effets du changement climatique se sentent automatiquement dans, dans l'économie. In Egypt, the food industry turns the hot desert into a source of produce. But rising temperatures and increasing water scarcity are having an impact on business. Frozena is adapting. The producer of frozen potato fries diverts wastewater to grow trees. The wood is then made available to local farmers. Rising temperatures mean food processors need to use more power to keep produce cool. With help from Unido, it's also investing in new freezing equipment, its most energy intense process to help with plans to double production to 20,000 tonnes of fries a year. If you have a, an efficient machine, you can get more potato, more production on the same electricity you used before. Blue Skies supplies packaged fruit to international supermarket chains. It's installed heat recovery systems to heat air for laundry dryers and heat water for machinery. It's installed power-saving LED lights. This inverter on new chillers is expected to save up to 30% in power usage. With UNIDO's help, Blue Skies plans to install solar panels on a new plant to take advantage of Egypt's abundance of sunlight. It, it will pay for itself in very short term, while the uh, energy uh, prices are increasing, it will pay for it. But it is an obligation towards the environment and towards ourselves that we have to do this. Taking into consideration all these changes, definitely we have to do something, especially for those that they are targeting the international uh, market. In South Africa, Sir Fruit is investing in a combined heating and cooling system from Japanese manufacturer Mayakawa, which will bring a range of benefits. In order for us to cool our products, we'll require less energy. Also, the technology uses gases which naturally occur in the environment. This is, has far less impact on the environment than the existing technology we're using. And um, because the proposed technology includes a heat recovery system to heat our water and provide us with enough hot water for our site, we will be able to do away with our geysers. And our current geysers or water boilers are very, very energy consuming. So this will be an added benefit. Where 
possible, Japanese know-how and technology is being transferred to African businesses. We pick up environmentally uh, sound technology from Japanese companies. And we have a network with uh, the Japanese uh, the technology uh, experts to assess uh, the usefulness of such technologies. We are uh, in a neutral position uh, to make coordination with uh, the UNIDO headquarters side and Japanese company side so that we, uh, we can uh, connect uh, the appropriate uh, stakeholders into the project. In Kenya, the amount of rainfall is expected to increase. Higher humidity means greater energy will be needed to extract water from tea leaves, a process called withering. At Kiyamakama Tea Factory, the current air blowers are inefficient. Thanks to UNIDO's project, the factory will be replacing these outdated machines with new technology from Japan. The amount of money we are spending now and the amount of money we are going to spend in the future once we automate by adopting that technology, we mean we shall have a huge saving. Therefore, that money will be available to the farmers who supply us with the raw material. And there the farmers will be happy and all of us will be comfortable. The harmful impact of climate change is widespread and it is becoming more and more important to transform the industries of primary importance for developing countries into climate resilient ones. And we very much hope this project would become a leading case example, providing a good lessons for the future.